Okay, now I'm going to verify my provider's order that the NG tube for my patient can be removed. So first of all, we want to do um, any check the patient's history as well, any changes in their medical history since they had the nasogastric tube inserted, and also any um, evaluative values that we need to use. So I go into my patient's room. As always, um, we want to make sure that we introduce ourselves, wash our hands, pri provide for privacy, and we also want to make sure that we have the correct patient with our um, identifiers uh, against our medical record and also check for any allergies. So once in the room, I'm going to explain to my patient what I'm going to be doing, and I'm going to tell the patient that I'm going to be removing the NG tube, and I'm also going to tell the patient that this usually is a lot easier than going in. So hopefully your patient will be happy about that. All right, so I explained that to my patient, and then I'm going to do my GI assessment prior to removal, and then I'm also going to make sure that I verify the external length to make sure that between the time that it was last verified and, and between the time now that the tube has not migrated. So again, you're going to verify that with the, the length that was initially um, used after the chest x-ray that we did to verify placement. So we verified the length. The length is the same. And I want to make sure that I'm documenting that as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a non-permeable towel or barrier on the patient's chest for when I remove it, there might be some secretions. So then again, I'm going to wash my hands and place gloves. And I'm also going to disconnect any suction that might be on. So we'll do that as well. Again, if hooked to suction, I'll remove that. And I'm going to have the patient's head of bed elevated at least 30 degrees again, because again, that will facilitate removal. So make sure that they can tolerate that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove the securement device or the tape. And I'm going to tell the patient to hold their breath for a few seconds when I'm ready to remove it. So I tell the patient to hold their breath or to bear down like they would be having a bowel movement. And then I'm just gonna steadily pull it out. And just making sure that you don't injure anything, just nice and steady. So once it comes out, you can go ahead and place it in here and then dispose of it as appropriate. And then I'm going to dispose that and assist the patient to a comfortable position. Remove my gloves. Call, um, put the side rails up and the bed down. Ask the patient if there's anything they need and promote your culture of safety with a call light 